Good morning. This is Kathleen at my Alabama Farm Life. And today I'm just going to wrap up a few collaborations that uh, I've been doing over the summer. I've had a lot of fails, but that's okay. If you have a garden, you're going to have fails. We have actually had a really nice summer this year. It's not near as hot as it usually gets, but this August it's been really dry. And you would think because it's dry, the leaves would start turning. But we are just a couple of weeks from fall and the leaves are turning yellow and many of them are starting to fall off the tree already. We really don't have a whole lot going on in the big garden anymore. All our tomatoes are gone and I just have a few peppers. But I'm still trying to keep all my vegetables, my tomatoes, my herbs, and uh, I have peppers and some peppermint that I'm trying to keep alive. So I'm out here every morning watering my plants. These are my beefsteak tomatoes and they're doing really well. I'm really looking forward to harvesting these tomatoes. I've had to fight with some hornworms. I've got a little short out with a hornworm that was on my tomatoes. I, I think I have pulled over a dozen of those little things off of my tomatoes and you can see here the damage. But um, I have at least a dozen or more tomatoes out here and uh, I can't wait to have some more fresh tomatoes. Now in this bed, we tried to put some pumpkins. I have one plant that's still alive. All of them died, it's um, very unfortunate. And then we went ahead and put carrot seeds in here. This bed did really well last winter and we're hoping that it will do really well this winter too. So fingers crossed. This bed is my garlic bed and I'm gonna be planting garlic here pretty soon. But in the meantime, I have my asparagus that's in containers. This is my peppermint that seems to be doing really well. But in these two containers, I don't have anything. One was beets and the other one was the watermelon radish. But as you can see, they're gone. They died a while ago. Now the beets and the watermelon radish were part of the Grow Big TV collaboration I was in, but as you can see, they're dead. My other summer collaboration was the survival seed collaboration with the Vineyard Chicks, with Bushcraft Family, and Lazy Days Ahead with Jesse and Lisa. Now I still have the peppers. They're still doing pretty good. One's doing good, I should say. The other one seems like it's always wilting. The peppermint is also a part of that. It is doing really well. And I had a butternut squash in this one and we moved it and of course it died. So no more butternut squash. So I really enjoyed both of those collaborations and I wish I would have grown more or had more to show for it, but I don't. Now, these are some of the containers that we had our pumpkins in, and as you can see, everything's dead. But we have some more soil. We're beefing up our raised beds, and we'll be growing more things for winter. Now, this is my weird container uh, garden. This is from Gail's Southern Living Collaboration, and I just have to say that those were a big fail. Um, nothing grew in those really well. And I think it has to do with the uh, clear plastic. I think it was too hot. Now over here in my herb garden, I got out most of the spearmint. I have a little bit left. I probably should pull it out. I've cut back my sage. Um, I need to cut back the oregano, but it looks pretty good. And then my rosemaries are also doing really well. I've got the fence around it to protect it from the chickens. And we're thinking about doing maybe some bok choy and some onions in this bed, but we shall see. Otherwise, everything seems to be doing really well in this bed. I also wanna give a little update for the yard work. I've uh, gotten a little bit more of the brush out here by the side of the road, but there's still a lot to do. And uh, I am trying to work on it every day, but it is a long, long process. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. I appreciate everyone who supports my channel. Thank you so much for being here. You guys have a blessed and joyous day, and I will see you on my next one. That is funny. Is it on that bed, yeah?
to the right. He is not happy. Oh, this is going to be great.